Tip of the day. Jump over the lazy dog 1,234,567,890 times. Why? Is the quick brown fox in vacation? Also, why can't that lazy mutt jump 1.23 billion times instead? It needs to get some exercise for once. Oh forget this. Time to jump 9,876,543,210 times in Super Mario Brothers. That speedrunning trick is torture to pull off. I am an error. I do not care. I am calling you a nuisance, whether you like it or not. Now let me use my computer. We just moved random parts of your Vegas Pro project by 0.000 frames in either direction. You can thank us later. Thanks. You only costed me an extra hour in editing. Sure glad this feature exists and auto-executes randomly. I mean, seriously. Why does this incredibly annoying occurrence exist? The copy-paste method and the auto-ripple features are incredibly hindered by these random 0.000 frame nudges. It even applies to keyframes, thus resulting in random video errors like this. See? Your system has been downgraded to 640 kilobytes of RAM. That ought to be enough for everyone, especially you. I mean... Who uses that much RAM? Well, this is a wild guess, but I'd say just about everyone these days. We're not in the age of MS-DOPS anymore. Although my might be. Hey! Not true! I have the latest hardware available as of 1981. You're just jealous. <laughs> he ran out of memory. Oh no. I'm a bit low in ran my son. 16, 16. Oh no, you don't. Oh, where am I? Oh, hello, odd visitor. Welcome to England. What? Da, dumb 16s, sending me to the United Kingdom, while I had an expired passport. Huh? What United Kingdom are you talking about? This is England. You don't mind me asking what year it is, do you? Oh, that's just as well. Today is the 25th of March, which officially marks the new year of 1616. Kind of odd, though, since we the people celebrate it on the 1st of January with the rest of Europe. Oh, thanks. Do you mind if I just explode right here? Well, no, just as long as I'm a safe distance away. Farewell, kind sir. Farewell. <laughs> 16 has upgraded your computer to Windows 16. Enjoy the familiar ominousness. Don't you follow in secret soft's footsteps, you scary numbers! It's bad enough that you sent me back in time to the 17th century, but stuff will get real bad between us if you start ripping off Microsoft stuff as well. Give me back Windows XP before I wipe you plumb off the number line. Don't make us upgrade you to Windows 20. I see you've made some headway already, eh? Fine then. Let's see what these dumb operating systems are made of. In order for Windows 16 to work properly, we changed your file system to FAT16. No prob, pal. I can totally make do with a maximum storage capacity of literally 2 gigabytes. I'll only need to make like 75 more partitions to use all the space in my hard drive. Windows 95 Nostalgia, here I come. Please agree to the Windows 16 DULA. I don't see why not. May as well see what you're going to force me to abide by anyway. You are completely fine with random numbers coming out of your computer. Meh, whatever. Happens all the time. 
although it stinks when they send me backwards in time. You are completely fine with using 16-bit color mode. 16-bit is almost as good as 32-bit color, so I don't really care. You are completely fine with eating my way cookies with a 16 as the icing. Okay I'm not gonna lie that actually sounds delicious. Agree? Hey, these terms actually aren't that bad, so why not? Besides, they'll end once the source is inevitably removed from my computer. Except. Try 16 flavored ice cream. It tastes like orange crush. Buy 16 cartons for $116.16. Awesome. Sugar meat sugary ice cream that tastes like crush. Please sell sugary, please. Only if you buy it with your own money. Okay, sugar soft Sam. Quick. Wait a second, I have my card link. Yeah, 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 yeah. We now sugary have 16 more cartons of sugary ice cream. I can't sugar wait. Sugar sugar needs more sugar. Fine, but now you owe me $116. Have you ever met 16's dad, 61? Uh, no, and please don't introduce- Windows 16 is bored of you. You will now be upgraded to Windows 20 anyway. Da, 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 da. You got my hopes up. Oh well, Windows 20 can't possibly be as bad as Windows 16, right? Please, tell me I didn't jinx myself. Please. Welcome to Windows 20, the OS that's twice as good as Windows 10. Well, the FEMA is twice as good as Windows 10's, so I'll give you that. It better have twice as good substance to go with those looks, oh. I'm not joking, if it's only one point infinite nines times better, then I'm removing it on the spot. To create more consistency with Microsoft, Windows 20 has ditched Internet Exploder in favor of Secret Soft Edge Explode. Consistency, you say? I see you're just trying to copy the competition. Hint hint, Google with the dumb abbreviated subcounts. Also, you broke Edge Explode when you switched its code base to Chromium. It doesn't explode all the time anymore. Now it's dead in the water, it was supposed to blow the competition out of the water. Oh well. Let me just click this little button. A new feature update is available for Windows 20. Version 2020, nicknamed the Twin 20s update. Install. Either Windows 20 is an idiot and thinks there's a 20th month in the year, or it uses the 4-digit year instead of the 2-digit year month scheme Microsoft uses. I'm leaning towards the former. Also, why not go ahead and install it? I backed up my files yesterday, so deleting them will do you no good anyway. Ha. Do your worst, Windows 20. An error occurred, while updating. Ha. That all you got? How pathetic. Your hardware was not manufactured in 2020. Yep, yeah, because it was made in 2004. I got this computer, when it was brand spanking new. Oh wait, that makes it 60. Yep, yeah, moving on. Us, you are ineligible for the update, and for Windows 20 itself. Duh, how pitiful. I'm not eligible for a Windows knockoff you forced me to install. You will now be downgraded to Windows 2.0. Okay, no lie, I actually wasn't expecting that. Oh well, at least it's an official Microsoft OS. It's just an old one. But at least I'll have a better chance at installing Windows XP. Goodbye Windows 20, it wasn't nice knowing you. See you in 4040. Your computer is too new for Windows 2.0. Upgrading to Windows 10. Figures. Wait, does Windows 10 even work in the Dell Dimension 4700? Wow. Learn something new every day. Hopefully Windows 10 will let me downgrade to Windows XP anyway. We accidentally downgraded you to Windows 1.0. Upgrading to Windows 10 for real. Okay that happened. How could you possibly mistake Windows 1.0 for Windows 10? Well, this code is pretty old, so I might give it a break. Or a continue. Or a go- Oh goodness I couldn't give it a go to. Go to is just death. Anyways, go to Windows 10. Your computer cannot run on Windows 10. Downgrading to a previous version of Windows. Hey 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 hey. You said Windows 10 would work. Oh well, I don't care. Less work I have to do. Windows XP here I come. Hey 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 hey. Windows XP cannot be installed in a FAT16 partition. Downgrading to Windows 95. Nuts. Nuts nuts nuts. I forgot to reformat the file system. No, 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 no,
Welcome to the latest edition of Windows. Start multitasking. Start Windows 95. Hey, thanks. I'll be sure to make great use of this totally brand new operating system. It's the latest version as of 1995. And my first act in this clean install shall be a reformat to MTFS. This episode is out of time. Shutting down. Duh. I wanted to be back on Windows XP permanently by the time the episode ended. What a disappointment. Why can't these things be locked? Whoa, we're already over 10 minutes in. Uh, uh, uh. See you guys. I have to go vent out my frustration by downgrading the studio's computers to Windows 98 real quick. See you sometime later. Ah!